a lovely memory when I first met my husband Bruce's uh, grandmother at her house. She had baked him an entire chicken, nothing else, just the chicken, and he sat down and ate the whole chicken, nothing else. But she handed me a, a teacup, a china teacup, and she had one, they didn't match, and said, come on, young maid, let's go get some berries for tea. And we stepped out her front door and picked berries. And it, I, I get so moved just thinking about it, to be honest. It, uh, I'm choked up. Anywho, um, I can do that now in my house. I love it. So these are partridge berries. So the clip, that plant you just saw, is a Romanesco broccoli, it's supposed to be. So for all you knowledgeable gardeners out there, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. It's a healthy, beautiful plant, the little green bugs don't even like it. It grew in the same bed as uh, my broccoli or calabrese, which did wonderful, wonderful. I've got so many out of there. A cabbage was devoured by the green worm. but. I just figured that's sort of a catch crop for the bugs. Um, but did I stress it somehow? It's a big, beautiful plant and uh, no head on it. Now I googled and I went to Baker Creek Seeds because they have uh, a lot of people go on and tell in their areas what worked, what didn't work with the seeds. So it's a great resource, I find. And they're all the same. There's so many people whose gorgeous big plants of Romanesco never produced anything. So what am I doing wrong? That's my question. I'm just about to make some fish cakes. So I've got my potatoes on boil. A great friend at work, her husband's a fisherman. So they gave us cod, which is a lovely, lovely gift. Oh, there's another fellow there who gave us moose. Actually, the person who gave me cod just brought me moose also. So, um, very thankful. Hi, Patsy. Um, what I'm doing here is just, um, this is dried pineapple uh, mint. I almost said wheat. Dried pineapple mint for tea. It's, it's very green tasting, I must say. It's not my favorite. It doesn't taste all that minty, but... It's good. I much prefer pineapple weed, but um, not to let anything go to waste. I'm just, uh, I'm not finely chopping these because they're just going to be steeped in my, for my tea. So some of the other herbs I have here, by the way, I went out and got more. I'm down to nothing out there really, um, but I just checked today to make sure before they fully succumb to the weather that I get every last bit and um, so I'll dry these this is fresh pineapple mint so I'll dry that up and I don't know why my thyme plants I never get enough I don't I have to find my trick to that and I use thyme the herb um, for a lot of my cooking it's one of my favorite herbs to cook with. So I've gone out and scrounged really because there's nothing left there at all. The plants just aren't growing well. well. I don't know what my problem is. My girlfriend gave me um, 
sort of an ornamental time. Now it's doing well. They're all edible, all times, and it's really, really, really pretty uh, when you put that in food, top it on food, put it with roast um, vegetables. I don't break it down when I use it to make it pretty. It's still got the little flowerets on. It's really lovely, and they're totally dry. So I got the little tidbits of that, and then of my other thyme. And all I do, this is my thyme. That's all I have left. It's terrible. Every year, I just am not good at it. Try, try again next year. Anyways, just put them in recycled things, uh, plastic tubs. This is my oregano. I've got lots of oregano. That'll. I've got another whole container of that. Um, I picked some more pineapple weed uh, yesterday. I think I'm going to make some shortbread cookies or sugar cookies with those. Um, maybe I'll post that when I get around to it. Um, I've got lots for my tea also. I picked a calendula uh, yesterday. They're sadly seeing their end, but um, I'll save those leaves. I have been making my own um, hand uh, or body bars uh, or lotion bars uh, for three or four years now, might be four and lip balm. But I noticed that a lot of people use the uh, Vivi and Kelly um, have been using the calendula. So I thought I'd try throwing those in. Um, this is my sage. I'm going to blitz, oops, I'm going to blitz that. I've got another one just, again, the scraps I'm grabbing, they're dry now. And I'll just blitz that with a hand blender. And then that's my sage. Um, I use sage an awful lot also. Um, I guess I get that from my mother who always said not savory Greta, that's harsh. Use sage, it's elegant. So um, always use this, I love the sage. I use savory also, but um, actually I'll show you, hang on. This is, um, can you see that? Yeah. This is some of my calendula dried. I've got more of it. If nothing else, it's absolutely beautiful and it dries full color. I've got all my whee, all my rose petals. How much noise can I make? Um, pineapple weeds. Lots of pineapple weed. Lots of rose petals. That's my favorite tea. And this is the juniper berries. Um, I don't use an awful lot of that, but it's a nice, um, uh, it's a quite a different flavor to put in some of your more robust dishes. Um, actually, I think it was a pickling or something that uh, Digwell said, so Steve at Digwell, I'll have to go back and see what he said about that. So, uh, and of course, just some marigolds. So I just make a mess over here and dry and dry and dry. It's that time of year. This is some lavender losing its color very much, but it um, smells gorgeous. Some lavender that I did not get this year because my, yeah, still smells lovely. Anywho. So. I'm just going to get on, but if you know what on earth I can do to get a Romanesco, I'd love to because obviously the plants grow well here, they're healthy, but something must trigger, I must have stressed it, I don't know, I can't find any resource. Um, and as I say, it grew right along my calibres and it did really well as it always does here actually. So. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Anyways, I'll carry on with this and make my fish cakes. Have a great night. Oh, I was just mentioning to Woody at Cumbrian Homestead. Uh, we had made a joke about me being a witch and brooms. This is a traditional in some parts of Newfoundland, uh, birch broom, and it's made from one piece of birch, 
and the young fellow who'd made this, his grandfather taught him. Uh, he's made a few for me, actually. And he strips down, let's see if I can get this out, it's probably dust going to fall, don't judge me. And he strips down the wood, you see, and it's all one piece to make the broom. Pretty cool, eh? 